Hello Troopers, welcome back to Star Wars, Knights, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We, uh, just talked to her and, uh, did a Revan, uh, background story thing. And you might notice that I'm wearing a different robe. This is the Yellow Mandalorian's Wars robe. And I even put on the, uh, blue and red one on Jolie and Jahani. Here's the red one. How are you doing, Jahani? Looking fine as ever. Not really, it's kind of gross. Whatever. Jolie's got the blue one on. Pretty cool. And then, of course, the black one is just pretty much black. And I will... Personally, I like the brown one. Because it doesn't even really look brown. It's like a, like a silvery kind of gray. It's pretty nice. Anyways, so... Let's see if we can do anything more with her. Ask some questions. Who were you? Did you fight in the Mandalorian Wars? Yes, along with every other Jedi who defied the Council and followed you. What battles did you participate in? There was little which distinguished a single battle from the next. Always were the Mandalorians well prepared to face us, and always were the battles long and costly. She was on Terrace? Tell me about Daggery Minor. to embrace war. Tell me about the Klamath sector. I now have the authority over the troops I fought alongside with. Chuni Yuni Ji Shagji Gina Lorcha Watam Wana Kin Kun Shishi Kin Nikin Kun Ban Mula Raji Kun Wama Kutanga Boksha Um Nagnong Kin Kun Shin Shin King Nikin Kun Nabule Mule Raji Kun Chu Ah Terrace Bona Tabida Oh. I will not go into details, but on terror something happened which radically altered my perspective of our events. It changed me in many ways, and in essence thrust me forward into ultimately becoming your shadow after the war's end. Kakin <laughs> It seems in war there are no unwounded soldiers. That's very true. That's very, very true. I love this mod. This is really nice. 
Battle of Althea. Battle fought at Althea proved to be one of the most decisive battles of the war. It's primarily a ground battle where our forces engaged in the lines. As they defended the settlements, they had captured during the initial invasion. By any found sense of purpose, the Persian kiss had also changed many ways to begin to resemble the very men who were in the world. The Persian kiss had also changed many ways to begin to resemble the very men who were in the world. The Persian kiss had also changed many ways to begin to resemble the very men who were in the world. The Persian kiss had also changed many ways to begin to resemble the very men who were in the world. Malachor V. I do not wish to speak of the battle. My memories are painful. Oh my. Let's go back to previous questions. Um, how often did you meet with Revan? With me? In the early days, I did not have any contact with the standard orders that every general received through communication networks. Yet in ways I cannot describe, I felt you were always with me. Aww! Oh. It's on to off the guest chair, so I began to meet with you more frequently. No doubt that it was due to what happened here. What happened on Terrace? I thought it was due to what happened on Terrace. I thought it was due to what happened on Terrace. Okay. Dang it! We'll go back to Terrace later, I'm sure. Um... How often did you meet? Um... <clears throat> So you were a Jedi general. Well, I left the Jedi Order and joined the Legion. So you said, "How do I?" In the culture, we adopted people who were taught to read emotions and other stuff. In the Jedi Order, we were taught to read emotions and other stuff. In the Jedi Order, we were taught to read emotions and other stuff. I don't think I have any. That's all I want you to know. Okay. Well, let's let's um. I'm gonna save it just real quick. Boop. Boop. Okay. Um. Should probably go to Yavin Four. See if there's anything to do over there. I'll be right back. Well, there was nothing at uh, Yavin 4, so I guess we should head on to Korriban, and I might have to do the uh, the actual Korriban missions, or a few, before I actually get back to uh, Brotherhood of Shadow, so let's do that real quick. And we're back. Let's go to... That's, uh... Huh. We'll take you, and we'll take, well, Poop, I don't know. Hmm. I'm feeling... I'm feeling either you or you. I'm feeling HK. Oh, well, what, what are you? You're the one. You're the one he said would come here. You're the one he seeks. Oh, this is you fun. are the betrayer. You are Matilda. Kipuna, How do you know my name? Who are you? Covered. He spoke to me, the black-robed man. Told me you would come here. He told me that the disturbance he created would coax you from your hiding place. He says that long ago you betrayed him. He says that you killed him. But now, now he has returned. Black robed man. He says he was once your master. Your Jedi master. <laughs> Who's this man? Do you know him? The dead man. He approached me and promised me great riches and great power. But in return for this charity, I must first cleanse the galaxy of the creature which betrayed him. Where is he? Where is he? 
He promised me great riches. He promised me great power. But in return for this charity, I must cleanse the galaxy of the creature that betrayed him. You! Oh, wow. Dude, I could just sit back and she could kill him. Whatever. Kipuna na bonsha. Tell me what I want to know. Kava dumpa kupali. I was in a bar, drinking, had a bad day, lost all my credits at Bazak. Then he came. He promised me power, promised me riches. He promised to take away the pain. Randi ichawa tongbo tangu. Where is he now? You mo wama nibor. He told me he was headed to a place called the Gorbin Wastes. That's all I know. All I wanted to know. I... What is, honey? Gorbin seems a strange place for a Jedi Master to travel to. The past I'd left behind. The past I'd forgotten. It has returned to haunt me. As you shadow, I mustn't allow this to weaken me. I am better than this. We can do this when we are on the Evan Hall. We've already attracted enough attention here. I understand. Okay, so I guess I'll save. <laughs> Looks like something's about to go down, girl. second. I'm gonna take you with me just a second. I'm gonna switch out her, her armor. Because this gives me immunity to fear dexterity bonus 5. But this gives me wisdom and if I'm just using force powers, you know, I might as well just have the wisdom. Regeneration of force points. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And I'll give you... Um, this, alright, that looks good, right? I might switch her out, let me see. Let's go. Back to the Ebonhawk. 